Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yesterday afternoon I went down to feed the cats in the village as always. And when I came back, Scoots was playing on the rockery. So I just stopped and uh, I was talking to him, as you do, and it drew attention. And in no time at all I had a host of cats. And these cats are all friends. And they played. And even Mum Cat came along and she wanted to join in. So I filmed it. And I ended up taking enough film for two videos. Here's the first one. If you enjoy this today, everyone, please could you give me a subscribe, a like, a share if you want to, and any comments and questions you may have. All are great for the channel. Love to see them all. Names. Big White and Ginger is Fergus. The cat in the Bourganvillea is Scoots, he's blind. The ginger and white cat in front of you here is Harry and he's blind. The black and white cat there is Dipper who's just jumped up and he is nearly blind. My blind cats have no problem playing together, playing with other cats. They have no problem climbing up on the rockery. I mean, as you can see, there is a slope to it, but it's not steep. It's easy for them to climb and they love it. They love being outside. Well, they're inside, outside, they're in, they come in overnight and they're out during the day. And I know it's Bourganvillea and I know it can be sharp, but the blind cats have found a way at either end to get under the Bourganvillea and they've made their way, they've made themselves a run through along the back by the chain link fencing. Dipper likes to be big and bold with the, uh, the juniors because he can't get away with it with the senior cats. <laughs> they don't take any notice of him. And as soon as the kittens start getting bigger, they don't take any notice of him either. But he's great fun to have around. black cat in front of you is Hare Bear. She you can see, she's a friend. And the tabby cat just here is William. He's my senior blind cat. I have seven blind cats in total. Well, six completely blind and dipper. And you'll see most of them here. The only two that you won't see is Mabel and Kira. Momo makes an appearance. These people that call blind cats special needs, it's an unfair label. I think they're just misunderstood because no one's really taken the time to spend time with them. I 
I mean, I find channels with uh, owners that have got blind cats. And what I'm describing to you, I read on their channels what their blind cats can do. That's Big Fergus. Big Fergus can see. He's one of the uh, unofficial brothers, big brothers that keep an eye on all the cats. There's Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim can see. He's a new friend. But here you have a mixture of blind cats and seeing cats. And there's no problem. This was one of the taboos when I first, when my first two blind kittens come home. Don't let your blind cats mix with seeing cats. They don't get on, it doesn't work. It's rubbish, it's all, it was all rubbish. Given the chance, they are just like regular seeing cats. The only thing that they can't do, as I've said to you many times, is go out on the road. But for everything else, they are not seeing, doing, doing cats, smelling, doing cats, just like all the other cats do. And as for going out on the road, if they get a chance, they will try and go out. They love to escape if they can. I had a year of Harry hell-bent on getting through the wire, over the fence, any way he could. He's a lot better now. It's not perfect, but he's a lot better. It takes time for the cats, the blind cats, to get to know their way around. And everything is sniffed out. Every inch of the garden, front, back, terrace, is sniffed out. Sniffed out, mentally mapped out, and then all committed to memory. That's why you're seeing this. They know where they are. They know what's around them. They know each other. This is Momo, she's blind. And they can all play. They can all jump up onto the rockery. They can climb the rockery, go under the Bourgainvillea. They know where they are. Do you know, I've always said it's about us. People, owners. And the time we're prepared to spend with them to make their lives better. I can watch my blind cats now run and play in the garden. You know, initially I was told, don't let them outside. They'll get scared, they'll get confused. They'll have accidents. I'm not going to say that they don't have collisions from time to time, because they do. But there's no long-lasting effects. I learned a long time ago to have confidence in them. And you know, once you've got that confidence in them and their abilities, they relax and they, they play more. I don't know whether they seem to sense that they can do more. I don't know what it is, but they, uh, They turn into cats. <laughs> I 
I mean, Scoots, I haven't had him five minutes. And he's out with the others. He's playing with the, uh, the other cats. That's Momo just jumped up on the uh, rockery and fell back down. She'll go back up. As I say, Momo's is blind. And you've got Scoots here playing with Tiny Tim, who can see. They're friends. You know, initially Momo was not happy with Tiny Tim, but now Tiny Tim and Momo uh, play together. So a car has just gone past. They're not running for, uh, they're run, not running to get away. They haven't suddenly got scared. You know, by me spending time with them in the garden and on the, uh, the driveway, a car going past now isn't a big event because they know that they are safe here, this side with me. If they go, if they are out on the road by any chance, it does happen and a car goes past, they freeze. They don't know what to do. There's Momo. Oh, this is Ginger. <laughs> That's Tiny Tim's brother. Hope you've all enjoyed the video everyone there is another one to come uh, so we will see you all again a bit later